Welcome Leo Virgo to your March 23rd through the 26th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. And welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are cross watchers, welcome also. Okay, we are using the Akashic Tarot today, digging deep within the situation. Um, it looks like right now we have the Eight of Forces going on, which is the Lightning Bolt. Something is going to shock you to the core over here and have give you kind of a wake-up call um, to what is going on with the within your, not only within yourself, but maybe within your environment as well. Um, whatever it is, it's definitely going to enlighten you and wake you up. So if you feel like something's going on, might feel shady or confusing or any of that you know, kind of energy. Um, I do see the chess game over here, so I am feeling like you feel like you're kind of stuck in a game. Um, maybe someone is playing head games. Maybe you feel like they're playing head games. Everything is going to come to light. You're going to be able to see very clearly. And this is going to shake you, um, whether it's um, negative or positive. It could be a little bit of both because it might be information that you don't want to hear, but then it could be really good information at the same time because it's like, finally, I get the truth. Um, we will see how that is. Um, and it's definitely talking about this King of Roses. could be talking about this. Cancer Pisces or this Scorpio. This is my Pisces card um, over here talking about the King of Roses. So if you do have a water sign, could be a water sign around you. However, it is, they don't have to be water. It could just be that they're coming on very strong, very passionate, very compassionate, and, you know, really wanting to give you love. But it feels like they may be kind of playing games with you. They're not coming close to you. Um, but we do have the wishes fulfilled. So that's very interesting energy that's going on over here. It's kind of topsy-turvy. Um, are we getting together? Do you really want this relationship to work? Um, why are you pulling away from me? Um, you know, things like that seem to kind of uh, be happening. If not, take what resonates with it. doesn't throw the rest away, but it does feel kind of unnerving um, to where it kind of gets you in your head of what is the King of Roses doing? <laughs> and it is definitely focused around this King of Roses. And we do have the initiation of the Count St. Jeremy, what is saying, the five is bringing in the change of the awareness. And this is really, this thunderbolt over here that is crashing into this is definitely bringing in this sudden awareness of what is really changing within the situation of this connection that you are having. Um, and it's bringing in a divineness to it. So you might, oh my gosh, you might be realizing that the reason that all the weirdness is going on is because this is some kind of strange twin flame or soulmate connection where you're both kind of pulling and tugging on each other um, because I think you're both might be a little weary of the situation. If you guys are both in a really bad relationship or getting out of bad relationships, you could be both feeling and mirroring each other. But the divine is saying that I am bringing this initiation. This is initiation of your souls together for a reason. You might even be saying, I don't even know how the hell I even got with a person like this. They're not even anything like anybody that I would ever even date. Well, you're initiated. This is a could be a past life connection, however it is. Deep soul make connection no matter what. Um, it's all pushed and divinely done by the Akashic Library, meaning it's already predestined and prefated. Okay. So therefore, it's already written for this to happen. That's what the Akashic Library is. It's saying, I already... It's already written within the book and that could be where the confusion is coming from because as you guys are growing and growing to each other the more you even kind of learn about each other you could be getting these weird foggy kind of feelings um it's just a, this and you might be but kind of weird because you might be having this really weird like magnetic pull to each other and not figuring out why right why is this magnetic pull here i'm actually going to grab some um some love cards on this one first. Because you could say, I'm already in a relationship. I don't know why I have this magnetic pull to this person. It feels like a game. Um, it could even be just a game within yourself, just feeling imbalanced. But yet they make me feel so happy, and I don't understand what's going on. Um, the initiation of the Count St. Jeremy says, you need to just let this go. You need to let this go the way it needs to go. It's going to unfold the way it wants to unfold. Um, it is initiated by the heavens. This is fate. This is wheel of fortune. Um, 
you know, your free will says whether or not you're going to take this person or not. Um, but the way that it's all being handled is faded. Wow. Finances and career, you could have met this person through your job. The, you know, this person could also be very wealthy and have finances. Could be a very wealthy person, or you might be a very wealthy person. It could be a status quo issue as well. One has more money than others, and it's like the two worlds are colliding. Mm -hmm. So if you guys found somebody who's way, way, I don't know where I'm getting that, but way wealthier than yourself, or way lower on the totem pole than yourself, you could be saying, I don't understand why, right? This is not the type of person I usually date. I'm a doctor. Doctors date nurses. We don't date, you know, the person at, you know, the grocery store, right? You see what I'm saying? Or, you know, vice versa, however. Or like, why would the doctor want to date me? I just work at the grocery store. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> But there's this connection that's going, and I'm telling you, it has something to also do with finances and career, and I'm telling you, for some of you, it is status quo. It's like the universe says this. I'm going to tell you this right now, guys, and I guys want you to always remember this. The universe doesn't give crap about status quo. It has nothing in the world to do with who's wealthy and who's poor. When those two souls connect and they call into each other, the universe only cares about love, soul connection. The world is about love. It's not about who's rich, who's powerful. That's material. That's of the world. The love is actually universal. So, you know, when we think about status quo, I mean, yeah, I, I agree with you. It would be like, why would the rock star want to date me? Literally, I'm only gold wildfire. Why the hell? You know what I'm saying? Why? They have other celebrities with their own statuses that they would want to date. Why would they want to date someone like me? You see what I'm saying? That's though our fixed, learned behavior. The universe does not care. They're saying that's just what you gained on the earth. But all that material, all that riches, all that fame, all that this, all that that has nothing in the world to do with what your soul is doing. That's just a part of the, the journey that the soul is taking on the earth. But when we come to bigger love, and compassion and the things that I want you to grow on when you two are you know right where you need to be and you've learned what love is and you've learned to grow and spiritually understand things that's when I'm gonna put you two together I don't care if they're a millionaire and you make two thousand dollars a month I don't care why do I care spirit don't care whoopity woo good for you right so always make sure that you're giving that relationship a chance. And if something like that is happening, and that is definitely for someone, but I do always want you to remember that. That was something that I had learned not too long ago, and I do believe that that is definitely 100, and I know it is. The journey is about living, loving, growing spiritually, and being on the best journey that we can possible. And if they can do that, you can do it. Let's put you guys together. Right? Some of you may have children involved or they may want children with you. <clears throat> There's a lot of attraction, a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversation going on over here. I do feel on the chess game, though, that you do feel like there is kind of maybe some wearing of a false mask, some kind of deception going on behind the situation, and you're a little weary about that. And that's why it's on the, the chess game. And that's why it's saying the lightning bolt over here. Something will come to truth. Can you clarify on the deception for me, please, Spirit? You feel like somebody might be wearing a false mask, taking you, scamming you, hurting you, wanting to hurt you. But it actually is really crazy over here because it says, true love, love yourself first, romantic feelings. What? So the deception may be you trying to deceive yourself. Like I said, if they are of a different status quo, so it could be you trying to deceive yourself from believing or them deceiving themselves from believing that something like this should happen, could happen. It almost feels like a fairy tale for some of you. But the Spirit wants you to know that your wishes are fulfilled and that it's safe for you to love. And this is going to definitely 
bring in some higher communication, some bliss, some holiday. If you know that they want to go on a vacation with you, they may want to marry you. They got you all weirded out. This is because of religious factors. There it is right there. What did I just say? It's when two souls are coming together. You guys have the same religious factors. They're like on a spiritual journey. You are on a spiritual journey. You guys have both have growth together in the same area. And now the two souls can meet in the proper way. You couldn't meet before because you needed growth. They needed growth. One may need more growth than the other. Could, like I said, it could be twin flame. And, you know, now... Yeah, they want you to keep an open mind about the situation and say, don't worry about the chess game. Don't allow yourself to, you know, put yourself into this chess game, you know, situation over here. You know, your heart's desires could come through. Some of them may be healing from some kind of family issue. Maybe yourself as well. Maybe you're afraid of being deceived because of the family issues or the, the exes or having a bad marriage. Could be you, them, maybe both of you, right? Like I said, it feels like a lot of mirroring over here. Okay, just remember, you deserve love. They deserve love. And you guys are shooting your arrows at each other, getting to know each other because you guys don't even know each other. That's it. And I mean, even if you know each other, well, obviously you know each other because they're, you feel like they're deceiving you or you're topsy turvy, however. But the point is, is once you really start to really get to know each other more, you're going to realize how much you have in common, how much this is actually meant to be. And then all of that is going to fly away. Like I said, something is going to happen over here that is going to actually wake you the heck up to understand the situation. Something's going to shock you to the core. What is going to shock them to the core, spirit? You could be dealing with Sagittarius, a Leo, or a Aries. Um, this is all about the perfect timing and the way that they have patience and moderation. Um, this is the perfect in finding the meaning. So what's going to shock you to the core is the meaning of the situation. And see the angel guiding the situation towards this person. This is where you're going to realize that, you know what, as you're overcoming these challenges, everything is going to come through and you're going to see the bigger picture. What is the bigger picture that is coming towards them, though, spirit? For the majority thereof. Everybody's story is going to be a little bit different, but let's get the majority thereof. That this is a this is something you both manifested. You both manifested love. Oh my God. You're going to realize that once you really get to know each other and really get in there, that you know what? I did manifest this person. This person is true. This person, I did have a... I, I manifested them. I, that's it. This union is what it says it is. I just think you both are just very, yeah, I think you guys are both very exhausted and very worn out. I think you both have been trying to look for this person, and now that you have it, you just can't accept it. Hard to accept that you would find, yeah, that you would find your dream come true. So you're not sure if you're living in an illusion. It feels like an illusion for some of you. But it definitely is, you know, if you really open, it's going to open up your intuition if you feel clouded about the situation to you know, once you clear all the anxiety, there it is, twin flame. Could even be past life relationship. Where the two souls are meeting like it's a dream. <sighs> the yin and yang effect. Waiting for your ships to come in with this person. This king of cups is waiting for you. They're looking out. They're going, okay, I want this to progress. I want this to happen. Um, and it does look like they're preparing to leave the house to expand this. If you know that they live overseas or they live far away, they are definitely ready to travel towards you. Or you are ready to travel towards them. If you know that you are ready to travel towards this person, then you are getting ready to go. Because you see that this is the person that you really want. You see the opportunity and you're waiting for this person to come. I think you're waiting for them to come towards you. <clears throat> Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for them to get closer to you. You're like, okay, well, if you're going to do this, let's go. Yep. Um, over here on the Akashic Record, we do have the four. So for a lot of you, it is twin flame. <clears throat> some kind of past life twin flame uh, relationship. Um, where it's talking about the homecoming. You're going to feel like when they get here and they arrive, that you do feel like you're at home. Uh, they may even make you feel like you're at home. That could be a lot of the anxiety and strange... Um, 
energy that you're kind of having. Right? Right, but it's going to feel like you're at home. They're going to feel like they're at home when you guys are together. You might feel like that when you're two together as well, that it feels very peaceful. It feels like this is a place, you know, that I'm supposed to be. I don't know why. That's part of that chess game as well. There's the competition coming in on the chess game saying, yes, but I, you know, I just feel like, like, um, I mean, there's a lot of conflict and tension within yourself um, trying to get to this person. There it is again. And we have dual sets. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. There it is. Perfect match together. Um, and saying, I'm holding tight to this Queen of Wands. I'm, I'm not going to let this person go. I don't know why I don't want to let this person go. You might feel, you know, like, I don't know. It's kind of funny because it kind of feels, guys, like you're using your intuition, but you're like, all this confusion, because, you know, the moon energy over here as well, um, might have you kind of conflicted of, of your balance. You know what I mean? It's like you're trying to stay as balanced as possible, but I feel like you're so imbalanced because you're trying to figure everything out. Um, and then once this lightning bolt hits and that intuition opens, you're going to stay even more balanced. You'll know where the control is. Keep your, yourself in control, right? Your courage is going to build because you're going to realize, okay, you're not wearing a false mask. And I think that a lot of times we just keep ourselves in that energy because fear of getting hurt for a lot of you, right? But no matter what the situation is, yeah, the tower is coming. The tower is coming because it, it wants you to, it's almost like you're trying to break a connection. It could be out of fear um, and where the tower comes where it says, I'm afraid that maybe they're not as connecting, you know, or trusting as I believe. Um, all of a sudden you build this courage and strength or they do, if you, you know, or they do to where they definitely want to feel, I don't know, they're just going to feel it. They're going to know it. You're going to know it. You're going to feel it where you both, if you both may kind of distrust a little bit, <clears throat> right? And this is going to leave you in hermit mode to where you're going to be able to actually see the truth therefore, and then it's going to allow the three of swords to go away. And that's that three of swords where it's just like the anxiety, the not sure what's going on, um, right? Negative talking to yourself. I don't know if this is real. It feels like a fantasy. Um, this could be too good to be true. Something of this nature. Um, so definitely though, with having that, that tower striking is definitely going to wake you up to see, bam, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. And that's going to be it right there. That's the inner calling of the, you know, the connection where it's like the horn is blown. This is time. You're going to have this, you know, understanding, releasing all of that. It's like your day of reckoning for yourself and understanding of how healthy this is. It's just like the development and the rebirth of the situation as it's calling you to, you know, yeah, take those cups of love. Let's go, go, go. Giving you the ace of cups overall. Bang, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Beautiful reading. So let's get a couple cards over here for this person. See what's going on. We have the mature woman falling out right away. It could be you or them. Right? You will have this message of concern. There it is. There's the lightning bolt. And it could be coming from this. Oh no, it's coming from this official person. So you might be having this message of concern from this official person. could be an older person from yourself. Um, I do feel like the mature person is yourself receiving this message from this official person. This person doesn't really, you know, they, they're grounded. They have this. They have that. But they don't, they don't always have the best love, you know. They're, they kind of hide their emotions a little bit. Um, could be your dad or somebody. Clarify on the message of concern from the official person. It could be your dad, your grandpa, something like that. Of the lovers. Huh. Of this love. Oh my gosh, this love could be a wealthy man. See, I told you. It feels like a status quo. Message of concern. It could even be, this official person could even be, if you're, if you're married or getting ready to be divorced. Yes. I just seen the courthouse. Where the hell did it go? Where you go? I just seen it. Yeah, of the marriage. Thank you. But I just seen the courthouse. <clears throat> Hopefully Spirit will bring it back out. Um, it could be a message of concern that this person knows about this love that you have or 
It could be the person you're already married to, or your dad or somebody telling you that you need to get out of your marriage, that you can go be with a wealthy man, take it how it's going to come, I'm not sure. Well, maybe about get out of the house, go live with this person. I, you guys are going to have to take that way it goes. This one's kind of weird. And the wealthy man is his expectation. Like he wants to take you to his house and he's changed. But I did, like I said, I did see. Give me the core house again, please, Spirit, because I did see it. Taking the higher road, concerned about the distance and the journey. Someone is, okay, whoever this official person is, could be your dad or somebody in the family or your husband and you want a divorce and they know you want to get out of the marriage or you're legally separated or or this is your boyfriend, girlfriend, something like this. Anyways, they know something about the situation. There it is. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, I'll take that one. They know you want a divorce or something. But then I have this other this other message of concern, which almost feels like the same guy here, right? And it's like he knows you're honoring your higher road. It's like he's moving on or doesn't want you to move on. For some of you, I think that they know that you want a divorce or you want to get out of this relationship and you're moving on for your higher good and they don't want you to. I, that's what it looks like, my friends. Either they wanted to marry you or keep the marriage going. And you're saying no. Um, I'm telling you right now. And this guy over here is like, he he's expecting you to change and like come live with him. He wants you to build a house with him, a home with him. Be his wife. Be his. Or her. Yeah. And you're over here, whether you're male or female, it don't matter. You're over here going, yeah. So you have a message of concern, but then you have this kind of like this, this, this change over here. And it's almost like this person over here is concerned. They know that something's going up. Even if they don't know that they know about this other person, they know you've changed. They know you've grown. You may be kind of hiding out from them with the hermit. They're waiting for your next move. And they're kind of writing you concerned, like, are we getting a divorce, or are we separating, or is this relationship over? But they're, I feel like they're trying to hold on to you. For those of you who have another relationship, whether you're married or not, I don't care what it is, it does feel like this person is trying to hold on to you for dear life. Yeah, this wealthy man is going to give you sudden wealth. Yeah, that's the main man, main female. And there's that courthouse. Thank you. Yeah. For the family room. They're trying to hold on to the family. They're trying to hold on to you. They don't want you to leave or they want to build a family with you. Um, they believed you were number one. But this is showing a person, though, that doesn't know how to 100% give the romance, the love, the attention that you might be looking for. They don't have the growth that you have. They may have, like I said, the growth in, you know, maybe they have the growth in status as well. But they don't know how to express real love, real truth. And then you're finding it all through this person here. Oh, boy. So for those of you who have that, that's, yeah. Expect them to see that you're turning. Like, something inside you, they can tell. Like, you're, it doesn't even mean that they know that this person exists. It just means that they know something inside you has changed. You have grown. Right? You're not the same person. Who are you? You're not the same. Well, I'm mature now. See, maybe before I was just your pretty little princess, but I've become a queen. And I, you know, and all this time, I would like for you as an official person, you know, to treat me like a queen or the king that I am instead of a page. I'm not a child. And that is definitely for someone. They, they kind of downplay you uh, for some of you. They try to hold you. You might feel like... They try to keep you in a codependent uh, relationship as well. And that does not mean just towards their money. It means just codependent towards them. Um, that could be a narcissist as well, trying to keep you down, um, trying to hold on to you, not allowing you to grow. And you've grown and blossomed, and you're like, boom, and now I've ran into this. The Lord is giving me this beautiful person. 
right? Whether he's really wealthy, but you do have some wealth though anyways. But um, for a lot of you, the wealthiness is just meaning the growth, the love, the wealth of what real wealth means. Progression, love, understanding. Oh. Man, you guys are going through it. But the outcome is gorgeous. So for those of you who this resonated with, go ahead and hit that like and like button and subscribe button. Okay, and tell your friends about me if it resonates, okay? Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.